not the best start to March, I will say. Um, I am currently sick. Uh, I think something was up with Bubs. He's had like a cold for a few days. Um, and we were totally fine. And I thought maybe it was something he just caught from another child of the play group or something. And then um, yesterday I woke up with a really sore throat. And now I just feel like a truck hit me. Um, I just feel a bit feverish, sore throat. Um, it's very similar to what I felt like I had in Japan, which I don't know if I've ever covered that on this channel. But um, when I was in Japan, I got pretty sick along with... Um, Violet and Jimmy and Bubs. Although, fortunately, mine didn't seem to be as bad or as long-lasting as what Violet and Jimmy seem to have had. So I'm hoping that this lasts only a few days as well. Mine lasted just a few days. And I feel about the same as yesterday, so that's kind of a good sign. Usually second day I feel worse. So I've been feeling about the same. Hopefully it's just recovery from now on. But um, we've had to, like, Jimmy was supposed to come over. Jimmy and Violet was supposed to come over today for... Jimmy's birthday. He is celebrating his birthday in a few days and so we're gonna have a celebration here but I had to cancel because obviously I don't want people coming over when I'm sick. I don't want them to get sick. Um, Tobias is we're supposed to have some family coming over as well um, tomorrow and I'm gonna cancel that. So yeah but hopefully I'll recover quickly because I'm going out to see some friends this week and uh, I'll see how I feel. If I'm still feeling obviously not great then I'll just cancel but yeah just it's hard not to feel a little bit broken at the moment by the way if that if you're wondering what I do I'm peeling garlic um we I have found that just pre-peeling garlic makes the cooking process so much faster because we cook almost every day um and we probably go through like two bulbs of garlic a week now so um I'm, pro I'm trying to peel just to get a bit of a head start so I'm not always peeling garlic. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, it's hard not to feel a bit broken. Um, I talked about this in my last vlog and then I think I ended up cutting it out because I got too rambly and so it didn't make sense. <laughs> I think I mentioned that I filmed like two hours worth of footage for February and um, I ended up cutting it down to 30 minutes. So you're welcome. <laughs> there was a lot of rambling in there. Uh, but I had not so recently gone to the dentist um, because I was getting some sensitivity on the side. And I thought, oh, maybe it was just like sensitive teeth or something and they're just gonna tell me to use a certain type of toothpaste. But um, no, it wasn't. Uh, I have a cavity right at the back, which I need to get fixed. So I've got that booked in for in a couple of weeks. But I also have a cracked tooth, which I don't know why. I feel like a little broken that so many things seem to be failing and it sounds like so like cry me a river sort of thing because obviously my life is amazing and I have really nothing to complain about but I think um, I've always associated cracked teeth with like age. I think it's because that's something I more hear about my um, aunties and uncles or parents talking about. I've not at first I thought I don't really know anyone with cracked teeth. Um, that would eventually have to go for a crown apparently i can hold off i don't need the crown straight away but i will eventually need a crown and it has to be a gold crown because the tooth is so small so they can't use um the white stuff which i know it's so vain like the first thing i thought of to the doctor is like is there any way you could tint it white because i don't want gold in my mouth um i'm sure that's like something i can discuss later he he was pretty good in that he's like the crack is actually not that bad at the moment. You can probably keep going with it for now. But at some point, a crown is coming in your future. So just be prepared. And I'm like, it's, of course, it's the year that I hit four decades that everything is breaking. Um, so yeah, so um, that was feeling sick, I guess. But yeah, I guess I'm pretty lucky because I haven't really gone to the dentist in three, four years. To be fair, I did have a baby during the last two years, so I was I've been very preoccupied with a lot of self care things. Um, going and then also before that there was COVID, so I don't know. Just going out and leaving the house was a pretty low priority at that time, so I'm finally catching up on a lot of this stuff. And yeah, uh, I don't know when I'm gonna need a crown at some point, um, but I found out that. James has a crown. I know that Violet and James did a bit of dental work recently and it was pretty major work as well. So I might talk to them about it and see, but 
Uh, that's just getting old, guys. That's just what life is. And then I, I look at Bob's and he's so young and energetic and like full of like life. <laughs> I'm like, I remember what it was like to feel that way. <laughs> Sounds so terrible. I remember feeling invincible, like really invincible. Um, but I think my, my parents also kind of feel that way as well when they look at us. So I, you know what though, it does make me, it just like really warms my heart so much to see him have such a zest for life because it makes, it kind of renewals my perception of things as well. Like, I don't know, just makes life better and more exciting and just happier for sure. All right. I just wanted to like open the vlogs. I know I filmed a few clips, but I haven't actually said anything and I kind of wanted to open with, um, I'm sick, <laughs> I'm not feeling well, but I'm hoping it's gonna pass in a few days. I'm currently cooking dinner. I don't know if you can hear the fan. Um, I'm actually filming it as well for Fables and A Beautiful Fable. So I think it might come out later in March if I can get my stuff together. But if I can't, maybe April. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, all the other channels are going to be pretty delayed, but I think it's because I put a lot more effort into filming and obviously editing and just wanting to make sure everything looks nice, whereas this is just throw this on a tripod and talk. But yeah, I'm going to keep peeling garlic. Um, we're having tomato soup tonight. I just want like warm, soupy things, like what, hot drinks. I have like a little thermos with really... Um, strong black tea and I put some lemons in there and honey um, and it's nice to just kind of sip on that throughout the day so I'm just like inundating myself with a lot of hot drinks and Tobias has been amazing helping um, carry the brunt of bubs so that I can actually like rest and I can focus on like making good healthy meals for us so I can recover so yeah I mean so many blessings honestly I think I just like complaining. Doesn't everyone just like complaining? <laughs> Sometimes I talk to my coworkers and we all complain. I'm like, but you know what guys, we have it really good because we have jobs that we actually like. It could be so much worse. So yes, if I complain a lot, just, I think it's just my way of venting. Like blogging is a venting, is like a way of me to vent. Um, yeah. Anyways, okay, sidetrack. I'm gonna finish peeling all this garlic and then hopefully get on with the rest of dinner and then I'll catch you guys whenever. I'm feeling significantly better now like I'm so happy that whatever it is that got me this lighting is terrible uh, here we go that's a little bit better um I don't know what it was that I had but it literally lasted like a few days maybe two max and then it was gone like I thought I was in for a really really bad time but yeah it did not last long at all so I'm really grateful for that because the last Ever since Bob's was born, when I get sick, it can last for two to four weeks. And I was just like, kind of devastated that that was going to be my life again. <laughs> I never thought I would have this issue, but I'm vlogging in the car. I think someone just saw me and they think I'm just videoing random stuff in the car park, but I'm not, I'm just vlogging. But I remember having this issue at previous workplaces. So anyways, uh, yeah. Well, I've got some friends coming over tonight for dinner, which I'm really excited for. Um, I had to cancel so many plans, I think I mentioned, so I'm really glad to be able to keep some. And it's going to be a really busy week. We've got to firstly just get through the work week. Work is just like crazy right now. I'm barely hanging on doing the three days because the job is really a five day a week job. So I'm kind of still doing some of that like on the days that I don't officially work, but I think I, it's just kind of necessary. and. I go back and forth on whether to increase the days, but if I do, then I can't look after bubs properly anymore. And I 
don't really have an alternative solution just yet. So as much as I would love the extra income and I know that I would just be able to do my job more comfortably, I, I know that I can't take away those days with Bob. So I kind of would rather just work less days, get paid less, still keep the job and do a good job because I just want to do a good job, but have that time with Bob's. So it's the sacrifices we make, I guess, being a parent. just taking my lunch break or about to make, get my lunch um I've been trying to eat super healthy um but <laughs> trying to eat really healthy is also very time consuming but it's basically this like Thai salad like peanut sauce noodles spinach chicken salad I'm trying to make a salad for at least two meals to so two lunches a week um it's just it's just like, I always find it harder because I can't bulk make something well ahead of time and then just like freeze it or fridge it and then just heat it up when I want to eat, which is what I try to do for most of my meals. Well, at least my lunches. Dinners, we try to make fresh because Bubs eats with us. But if it's just me and Tobias, we like try to make it as far ahead as possible just to um, be to optimize our time. You can't really do that with salads because the leaves and everything can wilt really quickly. So it usually has to be pretty fresh, which means we buy the ingredients the day before. So you don't have a lot of time to prep. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just complaining about domestic stuff right now, but looking forward to the weekend. Oh yeah, it's a long weekend, by the way. Um, in Melbourne, we have this holiday called Labor Day. I have no idea why it exists. I honestly don't know why most of our public holidays exist. It's probably just a, it's, it's a simple Google search that I just have not been bothered to do. But um, yeah, public holiday is so long weekend. So we decided we might head over to Hillsville for a few days, um, which I'm so looking forward to. And yes, I am going to be vlogging it for Fables and Fashion, but the vlog won't come out till like ages away. Um, and what I learned about the staycation I recently came back from uh, is that I probably won't vlog too much about Hillsville or I'll trip here um because it it like it's so hard to try and like vlog two things like vlog the same thing for two videos like my mind isn't able to switch very easily and so i'm like i think i like in my mind i've storyboard what i want the vlog to look like but i'll take videos for this and then i'll be like did, did i record it already for that one or was it just for this vlog and I can't remember so I think what I've decided to do is that when I eventually when I do like uh, either trips or events or anything specific for fables and fashion I won't do the video here so I can like cut it clean in my mind and then just like bring the cameras that I need for that and just be in that mindset for that video and then I can exit it and come back to vlogging I don't know if that sounds weird if you guys are vloggers with multiple channels and you probably know what I'm talking about, but I do need that clear delineation. Otherwise it just jumbles up and then my files get mixed up. And then it takes me a long time to edit to figure out like which file was for which video. So I'm letting you know ahead of time that yeah, Pack of Hillsville. I might vlog a little bit tomorrow. I'm not quite sure, but I'll definitely vlog when we come home because we'll have a ton of grocery shopping and a ton of cooking. Um, I got a little bit of good feedback about cooking vlogs, which I was a bit surprised. So I think what I might try to do is do them a bit more end to end, like show you the finished meal instead of just like cutting. But um, that is basically the majority of what I do besides like obviously working, which I, I can't vlog work. Um, well, not my day job work. Um, and then I don't, I, I spit like the rest of the time is obviously being with bubs, which I can't vlog that. So it's like cooking or like YouTube stuff. Um, or like any of my personal self-care stuff, but like that is, that is small at the moment, given 
the current season of my life. So um, if you guys do enjoy cooking vlogs, then yay. <laughs> it will encourage me. I have so many different meals I really want to try. So it actually might really work out because I can try new stuff, um, share it with you guys, and you can see me uh, fail terribly or maybe make something that is edible. Okay, I have finally, finally gotten the measurements i guess right so i'm in the process of creating some new releases i think i'm just going to release them tomorrow so by the time you see this video they will be out i really want to get back to releasing new stickers every week even if they're small releases so i guess this is kind of a small release it's pretty simple um but uh, i just want to get back into that good regular cadence it really helped motivate me with the shop um, so I'm releasing these habit tracker stickers for Hobonichi. I write these down myself, but um, I've been looking to maybe get stickers instead so that they're perfectly aligned. So um, you can see I had to try several times just to get the letter right in the center. And I finally got them right in the center because it's not it's not like um, equal spacing or anything. So and then these are habit trackers for this side and this side. So I'm... You can see how many times I've tried and this is only like 30% of what I did. I, I've like been trying for a couple of weeks because I, I just kind of work at small increments. So I'm just really glad to finally have this. Um, I bought a ton of washi paper, sticker paper. So I'm actually going to try printing some. I don't think I'm going to release all my stickers on washi paper. I think that's a bit much, but I'm going to have like a collection, maybe like the mixed collection or whatever on washi paper, just because I find cutting washi paper a little more challenging. But I personally kind of want to use washi paper stickers so it doesn't add too much bulk to my planner. So I really need to get on to trying that. I tried a set of washi paper about a year ago and it just, the ink bled everywhere. So it didn't look very good. Um, so I'm going to try this new stick paper and see if it works. But yeah, that is what my evening before our weekend away. Oh, I swear I'm going to go to sleep. I haven't even started packing yet. Um, but I got so much stuff done tonight, which made me really happy. I got all the orders out, um, which is good. Um, so I'll just dispatch them tomorrow morning before we leave. And what else I do? I got sticker listings done for this week and next week. They're very small, they're nothing major. Um, but yeah, I think I showed you guys before. I can't even remember what I vlogged, even though it was only like an hour or two ago, a couple hours ago. Um, but yeah, at least this week and next week are done. I didn't get all my social media stuff done, but I have come up with a content plan because I, I'm just gonna be really frank. I don't know whether um actually I do know you, there are some years to talk about this stuff my um shop was going really strong in January and December and then I noticed that it like it has natural ebbs and flows and it, it the same pattern every single year I'm pretty sure most e-commerce e e stores or retailers are the same but um what I'm trying to do is compare my sales and my, my statistics for this year against the same time last year, because that's the most accurate way to do it. And January, way above. This ja February, it was just like slightly under, which I was like, oh, that's weird. It's usually, for the last year, it's always been way above the previous year. So I'm like, oh, that's, am I going backwards? Like what's going on? I've hit March and I am like way behind where I was this time last year. So the only reason I can think of and just looking at the analytics, but the analytics are not super clear. Is that I think, I apologize for yawning so much. I think it's just that I've um, pulled back a lot on social media and YouTube because I was, um, I got kind of burnt out from it. I was felt like I'm just chasing my tail, that I was basically just creating content and posting it straight away, which is just not how I work. I am not good at that sort of content creation. I'm someone who needs to bulk create and then schedule it out for like weeks or months. And so I can then, I might, I need pockets of focus as opposed to just doing like 50 different things a week. I need to do like maybe two, three things each week, but maybe I'll do like high volumes of them. So anyways, I think it's because I've not been as active on Instagram, TikTok or YouTube for a beautiful fable slash happy clouding, like all those social media accounts. I've really pulled back a lot. Um, and I think that's might be why the shop is starting to suffer, which kind of bums me out because 
only a couple months ago, I was certain that I didn't need social media and that SEO was all I needed. And I actually recently took a course that focuses mostly just on SEO to grow the shop. So I actually still have a way to go in terms of SEO for the shop. Like the amount of like refinement I have, I have 144 listings. I have to go through each one and really upgrade and enhance each listing. I want to create videos for each listing um, and just really make the most of it. And then also because of all that content, I want to transfer it to my own domain because I do have happycloudinc.com, which is run like under my own site, but most of my sales come from Etsy. Just the search engine is really good. So I wanted to spend a lot of time focusing on that stuff, which is like behind the scenes stuff. But oh, I think I have to be really looking at social media as well. I think, I don't know. I kind of don't want to take the risk of just going SEO ignoring social media and letting all that die down and then it took me so long to build it up and um oh and then the other things I don't release stickers weekly I used to release stickers weekly I used to do videos on YouTube about my releases and I've stopped doing all of that which is just uh, so terrible but you know why um it's the holidays like if I take an extended break from the routine of my life Unless I'm in like a really good headspace and I've planned it really well, which I don't think I ever have when I go on holiday, it screws everything up. So I had a really good buffer and everything was going really well to the point where there was some other activities and plans I wanted to do for the shop, which I could only do if I was like at least a few months ahead in terms of releases and social media content and everything. And I was at that point. Then we went to New Zealand in June last year and it wasn't just going to New Zealand because it was only about a week, but it was coming back from New Zealand sick, like terribly sick. And that I was sick for a month and I blew my entire backlog because even after a month, I felt completely unmotivated to do anything. Um, and so I lost the buffer I had. And then I was just like scrambling. And then I got to a point where I was scrambling and then we went to Japan for two and a half um, weeks and I also came back sick from that so I couldn't even keep up the scrambling and then I just like died and I just stopped doing social media and I've only started coming back to it in the last month or so so I took about to the public maybe two months off and it kind of like really two months of just inactivity is enough to really like not tank the shop but really affect it it just feels so fragile so I really, I think that's a big reason why I really wanted to focus on social media. Not social media, oh my god, I'm so tired, I can't focus. I really wanted to focus on SEO, not just for the shop, but for a lot of the other things that I work on. Because I think that if the SEO is strong, then I don't have to have the pedal so hard on social media. Anyways, this is all like, a big reason I vlog all this is because I literally don't have anyone else to talk to about this. Like, I can talk to Tobias about it, but his whole like Surface Studio and everything is is like set up very differently to how I run my stuff. So we, we run our businesses um, very differently to each other. Um, I think pretty much the only person I could talk to was Violet, but like um, this stuff is kind of hard to just like, I don't talk vocally to her very often and we see each other like once a month or so, but like I talk, I can, I text her pretty much all the time, and but this stuff is kind of hard to explain on text. And honestly, since having bubs, it's actually been really, really hard to sit down for blocks of time to just text her. Plus, she's super busy with her game. She's got like a whole thing going with getting the game, like bug fixing the game, getting it to a point where she can like officially release because it's still in early access mode. But she also has to like maintain so many things, like she has to market platforms communities blah, blah 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 it's like I just don't know how she does it like I, I know that Jimmy's helping her but even with the two of them you like need an army to do what she's doing so she's got her own thing going on <laughs> safe to say but anyway so I sat down um and I officially put a content plan together which is similar to what I had last year but actually even stronger and now I need to figure out how to do this because I cannot like look how much stuff goes. I think I actually want to add more to this, to be honest, because you see the green is a beautiful fable. So there's a lot of beautiful fable stuff. And that's kind of important because it links to my shop. Um, and then the red is my Etsy shop stuff, happy clouding, social media. And then the blue 
is Fables and Fashion. So you guys know in the last vlog I mentioned that I'm trying to reboot Fables and Fashion. Um, and I used to blog like five days a week, Monday to Friday. There is no way I can blog that much. But I do... Sorry, guys. I really do need to figure out how to at least do it once a week. Um, I'm uploading videos once a month now on Fables and Fashion, and that's going well just because the, the the videos are only once a month, so I can space them out heaps, and so I've already filmed up to July. This is the sort of bulking that I need, like, where I'm months ahead. So I've filmed up until July, but I'm actually editing April's video at the moment, um, and I had to stop. I actually was like, I started halfway through it, and then I realized that I was missing a ton of footage that Toby's had taken, so... I'm just waiting for him. He's already like put it in um, our shared folders and stuff. So, but it's too late now. I need to go to sleep because I have to get up early tomorrow to start packing so we can leave. Um, so I'll probably have to, I'm not taking laptops with me. So I'll just do the editing next week. But because I'm in like so ahead of it, it's fine. Anyways, late night ramblings about how to get all this figured out on top of my, I think what like, I also think that before June last year, I was still on mat leave. So even though I was full-time looking after Bubs, I had the um, headspace to be thinking about business a lot. And so I think that's why I was running things more successfully and able to get ahead. Um, whereas now, I feel like my headspace is just so discombobulated because I'm back at work. Um, and don't get me wrong, I actually really like my work. Um, I like the people especially that I work with. I love the stuff that I do at work. So I really enjoy it. And it's just like, I wouldn't mind doing that stuff if I knew that the opportunity ceiling wasn't there. But when you work for other people, the opportunity ceiling will always be there unless you own the company and that's not possible. So, I mean, that's the whole reason why I do a lot of this stuff on the side. But Work just takes up so much of my headspace. Um, I work part-time, but I actually... So I get paid part-time, but I actually kind of feel like I work full-time because the job, even though I take part-time um, hours, it, nothing's really changed in my job. I'm still like a full-time employee in that sense. So I still have to work on the days that I don't typically get paid. And I know that some people think that's just stupid of me to do, but honestly, I would rather do that and keep the job that I really enjoy doing at the moment because... I still get to spend those days that I'm officially not working with Bubs. I just, like, during his nap, I'll probably work. And then in the evenings, I'll work. And then in between, like, meals or whatever, I'll, like, check Slack and catch up in emails and stuff like that. So technically, yeah. But I think it's more important for me to have the time available to be with Bubs, especially whilst he's so young. Once he's, like, in kindy and school and all that, things will change in his time with me at home will start to get more and more limited and then he'll have his own life and he won't even want to associate with me anymore. So that is the whole reason. I say that a lot because I still get people coming and not like online people, obviously, but just people in my life saying, really, you work for free? Like that doesn't seem smart. Maybe to them it isn't, but that's just how I emotionally want to go about my life. But a big reason I think I can do it is because I'm doing stuff like this to try and supplement my income. Um... And yeah, I've always been really nervous about, I don't know why. I feel like I've always been a bit like apprehensive about talking about all my side business stuff in 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 a very like businessy sense. Like I'm just like, oh, I'm uploading videos, I'm uploading a blog post. But like the intent behind it is like to making sure that, one, I, obviously I enjoy the stuff, but also making sure it's monetized effectively so that I am getting the best back my buck. Oh my gosh, like, okay, sorry. I'm just sitting here ramble. Um... Like, I was looking through a lot of my um, old Fable and Fashion posts, especially the ones on Book of Fables. And Book of Fables was like, I still want to do that one day. I just don't know when, but it's still a passion of mine to, like, do creative makeup and videos and music and stuff like that. I, I think I can. Maybe when Bugs is older, I'll be able to do it. But, like, I looked at all those blog posts. They have no affiliate links on them. They I mentioned all the products I use, and those posts were really popular back then. And I have no affiliate links. And I'm like, why, Selena? It's like, I mean, I don't put affiliate links, like, I don't pick products based on the affiliate links I have access to either anyways. I just use the products that I enjoy using. 
And so not every product I have, I use has an affiliate link, but a lot does, right? Because they're all on like major platforms and stuff. And I'm like, I could have, it's just wasted opportunity. I know some people think, oh, like influencers and bloggers, or whatever, shouldn't make money, but whatever. Um, it's a whole, that's a whole can of worms, you know? Anyways, all right, you can, guys can tell I'm like really tired. Um, I think... I'm going to leave my content plan for now. I think I'll review this again tomorrow. Maybe I'll take it with me on the trip just to ponder over and just trying to work out exactly what I can do. Because I really can only do this if I can bulk the content. The only thing I've accepted that I will do in real time is this vlog because of how easy it is to edit. Good morning from Hillsville. I know I said I wouldn't vlog, but... I find, I felt like I really had to include the fact that we have kangaroos in the backyard. I mean, that's pretty cool. And how cute is this mother and Joey? I think this is probably my favorite lip product right now. This is from M Cosmetics. It is their lip cushion in Venetian Rose. I just feel like the color suits me really well. It's not a unique color by any chance. Um, I probably have a lot of these colors, but I love that this doesn't have any scent to it because I feel like a lot of lip products have scent and it just glides on really smooth. It's very hydrating. So um, yeah, it's my favorite right now. Why I would care though still as a man is because I want to know what happened there because I'm going to get married to you. This is male values. Nobody bats an eye when a woman says, I want X, Y, Z partner. All the berries, apple bubs, soaking them in a vinegar solution with sodium bicarb to clean them. Out buying cheese. I really want to get in the routine of making more cheese boards. Um, not just because I love cheese, but also it's a, another way to consume calcium, which actually does get a little more challenging the older you get. So I finished editing my Japan vlog last night. I'm so happy. Um, it's not exactly the most interesting of edits, but it's it's like a really nice walk down memory lane and it was nice to see all the footage again. And it's just, honestly, it's nice to have it out because it's scheduled for mid-April. Um, so I'm like a month ahead. I've actually filmed, I think I mentioned, I filmed up to July or something like that. So my goal for... The next few days, if I can, is to try and edit all the videos I've already pre-filmed for Fables and Fashion and have them all scheduled out. Then I can just set it and forget it. And then um, last night I actually got some sticker design work done for probably four releases. So guys, I'm on a roll. I'm, like, I don't want to jinx myself, touch wood. I'm on a roll, but I'm I'm pretty happy. And the other thing, ugh, my arm's going to hurt if I keep. I also managed to start working out again. Um, so I've been reading Atomic Habits finally, and when I say reading, I mean listening, but it's pretty much right now in my life, the only way I'm going to be able to consume new books is by listening to them because I drive to work. Um, and so I have a lot of time that I am commuting and that is the time that, as I said, I think honestly, I seem repeating myself, but. I used to like listen to a lot of just random stuff that just wasn't productive. So I promised myself this year that I would only vlog or listen to Audible books. And I have about two hours left on Atomic Habits, but it's been super insightful because like none of it is like groundbreaking, but a lot of it is just, oh yeah, that makes sense. Like I never thought to do it that way, like habit stacking, um, chaining them um, and starting small, like all those in ways to make starting new habits um incentivizing so i promised myself that i would exercise every single day but only for five minutes that i feel like i can do like i could do that even if i was like cooking or preparing dinner right because any exercise <laughs> any exercise is going to be qualifies so i'm trying to do core exercise at the moment because those are the ones that really push me and also i have a lot of 
I think because I'm so unfit, I have like a lot of lower back issues. So when I sit for long periods, it hurts. So I'm trying to strengthen my core more to help with that. Um, but it could be anything like I could do intentful, like walking, running, yoga, Pilates, anything. So long as it's five minutes and it's every day. I've only done it for two days so far. <laughs> but like... I will sit here and vlog for like five, 10 minutes. I can cut that down and just work out instead, right? So it's extremely doable, even for a mom who's working with side hustles and everything like that. So I know I can do this and I'm hoping I can keep this up. My goal is to do it for three months and then see how things go. I'm hoping that by the end, and that would be the longest time I've consistently kept up exercise in my not in my 20s. I used to exercise quite a bit more when I was in university. I just think I had less going on and I was younger and I was fitter and I just was able to do more stuff. I would wake up at like 6 o'clock, 6.30, I don't know, and I would do like an hour of um, like hit training or something, then all running or cycling, and then I'd make a really healthy breakfast and then I'd head off to uni and I'd literally be at uni at like 8 to meet Tobias because we were dating back then. So I felt I've not been able to do that. I, I did that for like a whole year. And then I don't know what happened after that. But ever since I've entered my 30s and now 40s, I can't, I've never been able to keep up, up for more than say a month. So my goal is to try and do this for three months. And I hope that it becomes so habitual and I feel so good about it that I want to increase the time. And my goal is to try and at least do maybe three to five times a week maybe 20, 30 minute intervals. I think that's my like end goal. And if I think I can get there and maintain that, then I don't really have any other exercise goals because I think that's pretty good for me. Um, I mean, obviously more would be better, but like maybe when Bubs is older and I'm not as lazy, but yes, life is good. I'm happy. I'm just reporting back. Selena is happy. So this is lunch. This is Tobias's lunch. This is mine. The only difference is that I put tomatoes in his because he loves tomatoes and I am not the biggest fan. But this is basically a cob salad. So lots of deliciousness in here. I cannot wait. I'm so hungry. Um, and this, despite really not having traditional carbs, it's mostly just salad, avocado, bacon, chicken, egg, um, gorgonzola. And then we make we pretty much make all our dressings at home now because it's actually much easier and it tastes better. Because if you have all the core ingredients, which is really just like some sort of vinegar, oils, mustard, things like that, you can make like 90% of salads. Um, and they taste so much better than the bottled stuff, in my opinion. The work is over and this is dinner. Well, most of dinner. We've managed to get two trays, so one will be for tonight. I mean, we'll make both of them today, but one will be for tonight, and then we'll fridge this one after cooking it and make it leftovers for tomorrow night. So that's usually how we do dinners, if we can. It's not always successful, but we try to make enough for two nights so we don't have to cook both nights. And I don't know if you can see, but we have some sweet potato roasting in the oven as well for carbs. So yeah, it's going to be a really delicious dinner. <coughs> Shishuka for lunch. I don't think I'm ever going to get a good angle on this vlog because it's just <laughs> vlogging on the fly. I'm not setting anything up. There's no tripods, there's nothing. So it's just whatever I can get. But it's the last day of March, which means I am officially going to be closing off this vlog today. We are not actually doing much. Um, <clears throat> had a busy couple of days with lots of social activities, which are obviously <laughs> don't vlog. I realized that like for these vlogs, they're very snippeted version of my life. Like it's really just when I have time to sit down and talk or when I'm just alone at home, but that is probably like 10% of my life um, because I obviously don't film my family, which is a big chunk of my time. And I don't really film any of my friends, um, even Violet and, Violet and Jimmy when they came over. I. I don't really vlog them anymore um, because it just doesn't, I don't know, it feels weird. It's just, I don't know why it feels weird now. I think it's just, just not the stage of my life where I'm just like, come and see my life and see all the things that I do. It's um, 
just like more of a diary. It's like this vlog channel is becoming more like a verbal journal as opposed to me writing. I actually stop journaling, like writing journaling for a little bit because I just didn't find it beneficial for me. Um, but I do enjoy talking about stuff. Um, and so I guess that's why these vlogs have turned out to be more chatty and just me and stuff like that. Um, so, but yes, anyways, it's been a busy few days and today is going to be predominantly just home airing-y stuff. This video is supposed to go up tomorrow. I think this is really tight because I try to upload these videos on the first Monday of the month and it just so happens that the first Monday for April is the first of April. So I'm going to be editing this video tonight. So it's quite real time. Anyways, I'm definitely going to wrap up the vlog now. And um, yeah, I hopefully, what am I doing in April? Nothing much. <laughs> Again, another boring month. Um, I guess I'll see you hopefully at the end of April. This is Selena reporting from my kitchen. Back to you tonight.